Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Immaculate Baseball. It's a half case break, four boxes, pick your team number five. Note, this case was accidentally opened by a Jaspies employee. Some of you may know who this person is, but uh, we apologize about that, but we didn't take any boxes out of the case. We, we, and we had that disclaimer up, so people bought into it, and I don't think anybody even asked for a refund. I gave everybody the option. I don't think anyone really cared all that much, so there it is. So we ended up putting some blue tape right on there, so you know it's locked up. Anyway, big thanks to everybody who picked their teams straight up. I appreciate that. Arthur Peru in on the action with the Diamondbacks. What's up, Arthur? All right, and Eric ended up with the last spot mojo. And here is the number block right here. Um, I did not upload the video for that number block, but I'll do it after, after this break. Let's get to the break first. Where should I put that? I'll leave this next to me right over here. All right, and here is the case All right, for YouTube. Let's pop open the seal right here. And there's four boxes on either side. And let's see which side we're gonna do. We'll use that Dodger blue die. We'll go one, two, three for the left side and four, five, six for the right side. Three, one, two, three, right there. And this we will save for next time, which will be Pick Your Team 6, which I'll post after we're done with this break. So that'll be Pick Your Team 6, which I've marked 6. All right, Joe P. What's, did I hear about the conspiracy theory in baseball? Well, I don't. Not a really big conspiracy theory guy. That's not my thing. But what, what's what's the latest in the world of of conspiracies? Well, thanks, Andrew. I appreciate that. I think I think that's why we, we we're able to get away with some of these some of these miscues here. But I appreciate everybody understanding. But yeah, it's not like we started doing this yesterday. Like we, we've been around for many years, seven plus years, and there's a reason why we've lasted this long in this industry. All right. The Finax is in the corner of the market. I think that's going to be great. All of this, uh, all of this Panini Immaculate will now be licensed. It'll be pretty awesome. I think all the, all the, all the hobby insiders, Joe P, from all we've, and we've talked to Panini executives, we've talked to Fanatics executives that the boss man's pretty close with, um, and other people in the industry. And I think we're, uh, we're all pretty excited about it. They're gonna cut out a lot of people, hopefully not us. We got a randomizer. Cardinals, Tampa Bay. Did they trade these guys for each other? No, Dylan, no, I think the Arozarena deal was for like Libertor. Uh, anyway, 21 out of 25 on this one. So that'll be a randomizer between the Cardinals, which is a number block team, and the Rays, which is Eric. Got it straight up. So that would be Cardinals, Cardinals one. So Prim versus Eric on that. Uh, yes, thirty-one out. Of, yes, we can't see you. Thirty-one out of forty-nine. There's George Brett dual relic for the Royals. That's going to be for Tommy. The same as a creepy though. Yeah, it's like a disembodied head, like kind of floating in the window. It looks ghostly. 
All right, next up is Forrest Whitley, two out of 75. Three color patch and autograph. Charles with the Strohs. Got the Strohs straight up. Ooh, and a one out of five dugout collection. Dual relic and autograph, Matt Manning. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. Tigers, Carlos with Detroit. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And then we got a three out of three. Is this Mr. Tiger, Alan Trammell? Do they call him Mr. Tiger? Or was that Al Kaline? Who was Mr. Tiger? Anyway, this Tiger and another train whistle goes to Carlos. Three out of three. All aboard! Woo -woo. And the last one here, whoa! Dual auto. Silver ink on the eye black, 25 out of 50. That's Christian Javier for the Astros and Braylon Marquez for the Cubs. That's a randomizer between the Cubbies, Oliver, and the Astros, Charles. Oh, Al Kaline was Mr. Tiger. Well, Alan Trammell could have been right up there. Maybe Mr. T Tiger part two. Another randomizer there, one happy person, one sad person. We'll do that at the end of the break. Next box. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Major League Baseball has a no autograph policy now during the fall league, which Joe P's in Arizona, so he gets, that's, that's one of the things that he likes to do out there. So you're thinking that the deal with Fanatics has players, they can get fined if they're signing. Interesting. Um, hmm. I see. So, oh, okay, you're you're saying it's a conspiracy as an actual legal term, not like, not like the government's hiding aliens in Area Fifty One kind of conspiracy. I see what you're saying. I don't know. Like, what, how does how does antitrust stuff work with that? I, I failed law school, <laughs> so. Uh, how does the antitrust stuff work with that? There's Luis Tiant. That's a one of one Luis Tiant, and that looks like California Angels version of Luis Tiant. Yeah, the longtime Boston ace towed the bump for California that evening against his old team. Luis Tiant was an angel? In my head, he is in, he's a Red Sox. But yeah, he played with the California Angels for a season. This Angels edition of Luis Tiant, that goes to Carl and the Halos. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-woo! All right, next up, another randomizer? No, all Boston. Kurt Schilling, David Ortiz, Martin, Pedro Martinez, and Roger Clemens. Nice, quad relic. 91 out of 99 for Carlo, no, check that, for Arthur King. Two Arthurs in this break. Arthur, actually Brad in the chat. Brad King and the Boston Red Sox. Fourteen out of twenty-five, Fernando Tatis Jr. Dual relic, jersey and piece of his lumber, and autograph to twenty-five. That Padres are a number block team. They could have been picked up straight up. So that'll go to Padres four, and that's going to be Brup. There you go, Padres four. Nice hit. And we've got another nice hit. 
Three color patch on card autograph. Nine out of 25 for the Rangers. That is Anderson Tejada. And that goes to Carl and the Rangers. Yeah, some strong stuff out of here. We're only, we're only like almost two boxes and we're not even finished with this. There it is. Big Sexy Bartola Colon. 11 out of 25. Nice shadow box autograph for the Mets. And the Mets were also a team that was roped in, that was grouped into that number block. So that goes to Mets 1. Remember, we go by that digit right there. Mets 1, Prim with 1. And the last one here is a Jose Garcia. Nice patch, nice on-card auto. 38 out of 99. And that'll be for the red legs. That's going to go to Nick L in Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. All right. Two boxes to go. We're using the seven of hearts today to hide the hits a little bit. What's Luis Tian doing these days? Oh, huh. Luis Tian is the subject of a documentary film, The Lost Son of Havana, pro produced by Chris Meyer and the Fairley Brothers and directed by Jonathan Hawk. Had a world premiere in 2009. Hmm. All right, looks like a little shallow box that might be a redemption in there yeah it looks like a redemption right there empty slider box there seven of hearts help us out and we got a padre on top and that is kim ha sung jumbo nameplate love the uh, classic chocolate and mustard colors of the padres that's padres are a number block team and that's five out of nine padres five that's going to be for Mark, Mark C. We got an Alex Bregman, piece of his jersey, 24 out of 49 for Houston. Charles with the Strohs. The redemption is going to be Rookie Triple Memorabilia Signatures Hollow Silver away! Spencer Howard for the Phillies. And that's Phillies are a number block team. So that goes to Philly Zero. Brup. Brup, brup. I'm not sure if that's how I'm supposed to say it, but let's say that's how we say it. Brup, brup. Nice. What is that? What's the silver? Tw to 25 maybe? And a free top loader. That's like gold. All right. Next few hits. We've got a Brent Rooker. Two, to nine, two out of 99. Two color patch. On card autograph. Jarrett K with the Twins. Couple more here. We've got jersey and autograph, monochrome jersey and autograph, Alejandro Kirk. Four out of 34, Toronto Blue Jays, Steve W. With the Bluebirds, got the Blue Jays straight up. And back here is, ooh, nice. Pedro Martinez, shadow box autograph. Seven out of ten. Oh, Google wouldn't let you put a dash. It's supposed to be B Rup. Kind of like, kind of like the way Brup goes though. Seven out of ten. That'll be for Arthur King, and the Boston Red Sox gets the Pedro Martinez. One box left. And after this break, um. 
I'll load up the second half. If you want to run this back, if you want to get your team straight up. And I'll also, don't, for, don't let me forget about the uploading the, uh, the number block portion of this. All right, sort of a fatter box, a little bit fatter than the other ones. You can see a little bit of an extra bump there. Let's see what we got. Just fat hits or something. Ooh, ooh, what is that? Who is that? What is that? Who could it be now? Do, 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 do. And another fat, look at these fat hits right here. Wow. Fat bottom boxes make the rockin' world go round, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's see what we got. First one out of the gate is a Jumbo Fielding Glove Prime, Andres Jimenez. And that is one out of three. Cleveland, this is for you. That's Sean K. Sean Koski with the Cleveland Indians. That's awesome. I, I don't think I don't think he gave him his gamer. <laughs> He's not giving up his gamer for this. Maybe like a practice glove. Maybe one that he was breaking in. I'm like, here, you can take this one. You're not taking my gamer, though. That's one out of three. Cleveland, once again, um, this is for you. Sean, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All right, onwards. Another redemption there, too. We've got for Oakland. Eight, eight, uh, yeah, eight out of fifteen. That's Billy Martin. It's a good, good picture of Billy Martin. Pretty intense dude. Fired up there. Nick L with the A's. It's Billy Martin, Oakland A's edition. The redemption is rookie triple memorabilia signatures red Isaac Paredes, who I'm certain is a tiger. Isaac Predis is indeed a Detroit Tiger. And that's going to go to Carlos. And a free top loader. Put that on that list right there. All right. Some more. What do we got? Lewin Diaz. 12 out of 68 for the fish. That goes to Kevin M. and the Miami Marlins. M. Miami Marlins. Some good alliteration there. There you go, Kevin. Next, we've got another nice patch right there. Dane Dunning. 75 out of 99. Dun, 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 dun. Carl with the Texas Rangers. Must be like an anniversary patch or some sort of commemorative patch. And the, another fat hit on the bottom is just a big fat hit. That is Jumbo Fielding Glove Relic and Autograph, 19 out of 25. Estevan Floriel. Yankees. It looks like he was signing this, these stickers on like a, in a moving car or something like that. But that goes to uh, Yankees 9, which is a number block team that goes to Prim. That's last spot mojo. Strikes again. 70% of the time, it hits 100% of the time. Nice. You can see a little bit of the glove stitching right there too. That's pretty strong. Nice break, ladies and gentlemen. Now, time to make some people happy and some people sad. Not my favorite part of the show, but it's what we got to do. So let's go back to random.org. There's a new list right, uh, new dice right there. And for the first list, we'll put the dual relic, Dylan Carlson, St. Louis, and Randy Arzarena, Tampa Bay Rays. 
The second one was a dual auto. That's 25 out of 50. That was uh, Christian Javier for Houston and Braylon Marquez for the Chicago Cubs. One dice roll for both lists. Fingers crossed. Good luck. Let's roll it. Randomize uh, both lists six and a three nine times. The dual relic first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Team on top, Tampa Bay Rays. That's going to be Eric J with the Rays. Last spot mojo for him. Gets the 21 out of 25. Dual rally. You could even see Randy R's or Randy's old Cardinals stuff right there too. I think it was in that Matthew Libertor trade is where they flipped. I don't know. Dylan Carlson was drafted. I think he was a homegrown product for, for the Cardinals. Anyhow, there you go, Eric. That one is for you. Thanks for, wish there were more Rays in there here for you, but got a little consolation prize here at the end. All right, now, one happy person, one sad person in this dual auto. Once again, six and a three, nine times. We did nine for that. We got to do nine for this. Houston and Chicago Cubs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, stays with Houston, goes to Charles. There you go, Charles. And my apologies to my apologies to all of Rosoria. But Rand.org, after nine times, Houston on top. So Charles, congrats to you. You get the dual silver ink auto. Um, Christian Javier, pretty, some Astros fans will say he's got some top of the rotation stuff in the future. I actually added him on my fantasy team, thinking that he'd get a lot of innings this year. But there were some injuries, and then he couldn't quite crack the rotation, and they gave him some time to the minors who can keep pitching. Anyway, Braylon Marquez is one of the... Uh, Cubs up, up and coming pitching prospects too, if I remember correctly. So not too shabby at all. So happy times with Charles, sad times for Oliver. Good mix of happy and sad people in this break. But overall, you should have a warm feeling in your heart because you helped fill this break and you made this happen. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the second half of this case. Bye-bye.